welcome 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 so i'm so excited today because today is my birthday my birthday and i want to appreciate everyone that has subscribed to opa life therapy i want to say thank you to everyone that have always consulted us and that have trusted us with so many things thank you thank you thank you and in case you are just tuning into this this channel don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so today is actually a special day not a usual 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 so today i'm going to be sharing a little bit of myself to you guys <laughs> okay let me start with this my name is rema tulokwe ajibola but a lot of people call me rema that's 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 my the most popular name that people know me with they just rema 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 so I'm from Oya State. Yes, I'm from Oya State. Here in Ibadan, I stay in Ibadan. Yeah. So and um, I'm the fifth, fifth child out of five children. Yes, we have five in our family. So I'm the fifth, fifth. I'm the last born of everybody in the house. Yes, I am. And um, you know I've. Okay, what else will I say? I've always loved, not really because I wanted to be a psychologist from the beginning, no. I didn't really have intention. If my childhood dream was being a lawyer. <laughs> so I've always said I wanted to be a lawyer, I wanted to be a lawyer. So, so I really didn't see psychology. Even from, I, I got the inspiration, I got the revelation to study psychology in 2016. That was after my OND. I really didn't want to study psychology and things like that. But when I got the revelation that this is what I want you to do, I really even didn't know that God was going to bat something out of it probably maybe i thought probably maybe i was going to you know i just thought maybe i was going to study so i would do like i went to school i have bsc i didn't know that i was going to study to be a blessing to people so it was actually i got upper life therapy revelation in 200 level yeah so that showed that level god just gave me the name and just gave me that i really didn't want to launch at it so i was just waiting on god like what will god have me do so it was actually in 300 level I decided to launch out during COVID. This is what God will have us do. Okay, another one is um, what do I do? I am a praying woman and open life therapy, and I'm also a writer. I write, I write a lot. So uh, that, those are the three things for now that I majorly do. So I pray. I love to pray. Praying is my life, and then. As a, as a psychologist, I love to do research. I do a lot of research and things like that. So those things that I just mentioned are a little bit digressed into my hobby. Like they become a part of me to talk, to to research, to write. You know, majorly when I write, it's always like a form of me. I feel relaxed when I write most times. So that's why I, I writing is actually a part of me from childhood writing has been a part of me from childhood and you know um, um psychology wasn't really a part of me at first but you know when i started discovering what god will have me do and how god will want me to bless life through the course i developed a lot of interest from i think it was from 2017 i developed more interest from the course from 100 level days and i i began to do so many researches i wasn't really studying because i wanted to pass no I was studying because I wanted to have an understanding of how what I do will actually help other people around me and how it's going to bring a lot of things out of people around me and how it's going to help reform the society in my little way in which I can do that. And that was that was actually my pure intention. So and when I discovered it, I discovered the clue, I did more research, I had more sleepless night doing research, and I'm still and I will continue to do research on it. So that was actually what bet them. Um, psychology and for praying women i i that actually developed from there was a time my mom was very sick she was very sick and i had to stay with her and then i, I remember a friend of mine helped me with a lot of um, scriptures to keep me encouraged in faith and i had to wake up every night to just pray for her and trusting god for healing and complete restoration so you know it was during those hard times of being with her those hard times of walking through the process of miracles and healing with her that was where god actually bet the praying woman in me like it's not like it has not been there before but i never really saw myself being a praying woman or 
helping women to develop a fire brand life and things like that I did. But those things, I didn't even see myself writing articles, but it was those moments, those times, God started giving me a lot of things that I had to work with and things that had to do with raising women that are fire brand and things like that. So I just, I just you know, when it came, it, it came with different things and, you know, I was like, God, whatever you will have me to just do it, not really because of anything. I just wanted God to raise more strong women in our generation, which God is doing now. And I'm grateful to God that the vision of God is becoming a reality in the life of people. And, you know, more women of alignment, more women of um, understanding and prophetic prophetic connection. That, that's what God is doing in this season. And it's awesome. And I'm grateful to God that God is doing that. It's not really about somebody doing it. It's more or less about people that carry the weight of what God is said to do in a particular time, in a particular way. And that's that I'm saying. Well. So um, you guys should watch out for my right, my writing, my write-ups, my editing. We have that many people have seen my write-ups and I'm grateful for a lot of replies that I got from people. It's really awesome. Thank you so much. But watch out for my book in the making. Yes my book in the making and i'm sure a lot of people will be excited to hear that so that is my i really don't have a passion of yeah, I must be like, my passion from the beginning has just been loving god i love god i just went naturally wanted to do things for god i naturally wanted to please god and things and i did start like this i started with so many things from background from when i was young i started very young doing so many things for God and it, it, it didn't start with them just doing it, you know, I started with doing various of things, I've been in drama groups, I've been in other places doing so many things for God and it, it's really been a privilege because those things were those process and I'm still in the process, I'm still under training, I'm still under mentorship, I'm still in the process of what God wants me to become till I die, I am still in that process but those were those starting things that actually helped me to come to the place of actualization. So another thing is, Rema, 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 how did you discover your purpose? Okay, I discovered my purpose in place of, um, I, I don't want to say prayers now, I discovered my purpose in place of um, questions, asking myself a lot of questions. I do ask myself, why do I need to do this? Why do I love doing this? Why do I love doing that? And I took my time to observe myself. One of the things I love to do to myself is I try as much as possible to discover myself. I love self-discovery a lot. I do a lot of self-concept. For people that are familiar with my videos, they will know I do that. So I took my time to ask myself question, what do I love doing? What is it that when I do for people, it makes them happy, makes me be a blessing to them and things like that? What is it that God has called me to become? What is it that God has ordained me to become? You know, he said to Jeremiah, he said, before I formed you, I knew you. I ordained you as a prophet from the womb. He even told Jeremiah that this is who you are from the womb. So every one of us, we are created with a unique ability of God inside of us. And Probably God is just waiting for us to hear him. God is just waiting for us to say, you, this is what, and he's just waiting for us to come closer and say, okay, God, what are you saying about me? And many people are just trying to decline because they're like, I don't want to be a pastor and things like that. It's not really about being a pastor per se. And it's not really about being a warrior. No, it's not about those things. It's more about you discovering what God wants you to do for him or what he created you to do for your generation and just do it with love that's just it do it with love do it without really expecting anything in return you know many other people do it like i'm going to become a star this thing like that no we know we know that whatever it is that god has called us to become will make us the light of the world but irregardless we should do it with an heart of love and consistency that's that's just that's that's just the way I say it. That's just the way I say it. So, 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 so. I'm looking at what's other question because I get a lot of different questions daily. As I just said, someone said, how do I do it? I get my exercise. Okay, it's from society. I observe people around me. I observe things that go on. I, I'm, I'm a kind of person that travel a lot. So I get to see a lot of things on a day-to-day -day activities. And I could actually differentiate ideologies and ways of life due to what I study and relating it to the things in the society. And that's why I, most times when I come on Open Life Life, I talk about things that has to do with the society and things that, you know, God, God wants the society to come into as regards 
mental process. So I said, ah, if mental process involved in God, wait, watch out. You will know. You will know. <laughs> okay, that's right. Anyway. And then I don't really know any other question. In case you have any other questions for me, don't forget to send it to me. I'll gladly reply to them on Saturday by God's grace. But I hope with these little things I said, I been able to minister to you and to help you discover yourself and find a way to be blessed in whatever process you find yourself or wherever it seems like God is taking you into. I just want you to hold on to God. I just want you to keep on to Him. Lean on Him. He's faithful. He won't put you to shame. He will surely order your steps. You know, there are times that we are always very eager. You know, like, ah, the next generation are waiting for me. The, the, when the next generation are waiting for the manifestation, it takes time and process. So we have to learn to trust God concerning the timing of our life to fulfill God's mandate. So that's that. I will see you guys again when I see you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for loving Praying Woman as a whole. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you very much. If you've not subscribed, please kindly, kindly subscribe and invite someone to subscribe. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Without you guys, I'm nowhere to be found.